Hey folks, my name is Chris Wessel. Today we're going to be tying a baitfish pattern called a surf candy. This pattern is an excellent pattern uh, when targeting any species really that eat other fish. Uh, in particular, I'm thinking of striped bass in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, or even here in Newfoundland and Labrador. This thing looks like remarkably similar to a capelin species, which everything in our coastline uh, feeds on. So whether you're targeting mackerel or cod, um, inland in Newfoundland and Labrador, this thing has been awesome for larger brookies and wannanish or uh, landlocked salmon, if you will. So without further ado, let's get on into it. All right, we're gonna get on into this now. Get our hook in place. Today we're using the CS54 partridge hook. Uh, I like this hook for these patterns because it gives you a little bit of a longer shank, shank than what you would normally use for them and uh, can help cut down on those short takes. It's also got an awesome bend in it. It's very aggressive. Um, and this is on a number one. I'm going to be using a bit stronger thread with this, so we're using UTC 140 in white. So first off, we are going to be using some white bucktail. And you just want to grab um, the bucktail from wherever it looks like you got some long fibers. You don't have to worry about using really choice bucktail on these because uh, most of it is going to be held down with um, UV resin. So normally we try to go for good bucktail because the thicker base bucktail tends to flare out a lot, but this will be perfect. So I'm just kind of spreading this out. I can put that around the hook. And I can just get rid of that there. That's not... Save myself work in the future. Position that where we want to have it. I'm actually going to reposition this hook a bit. Got my Regal stainless steel jaws on. I've been using these a lot lately. I really like them. This is a number one um, hook, so I mean it accommodates them pretty good. So now we're going to slowly build up our colors um, from light to dark. So we're going to go with this tan colored bucktail next. <clears throat> and we're going to get rid of some of those shorter fibers that's in there. I want this to extend a little bit past the white that we have there. So we'll just cut off the extra. It's just easier to cut this off in hand than it is once it gets onto the hook shank. And I've been trying this method here lately, but you basically just wrap around the clump of hair before you tie it down and it creates some nice separation between the colors on this. <clears throat> So now we're going to use a little bit of uh, this product. It's um, just at H2O. It's made by them and it's uh, called Fish Scale. I've used it before. And this stuff is really nice. It's got a bit of flash into it, but it, the actual um, fibers that isn't flash also has this like really scaly look to it. And it's super cool. I like using it. You don't need to use a whole lot, so I just uh, separated out a nice little chunk there and try to get a piece that you haven't already cut I guess and you can use that as your taper so you don't have to go back and cut that with scissors after. 
eventually on a pack of those you've cut it enough that you have to start looking at doing it that way but yeah that should be pretty good there so these patterns really do well um, mimicking pattern uh, bait fish we actually have here on the east coast of Canada and uh, for anybody that's interested in uh, fishing saltwater here and um, looking for some patterns to try, this is definitely one that I would have in my box. Kind of looks like uh, our sand lance that we have here. And if you spend any time out in the saltwater and fishing and cleaning your catch, there's usually uh, some of these in the stomach contents um, of most of our predatory fish. All right, so now we're gonna finish off with a black top and we're using bucktail again. Um, we gotta try to find um, some bucktail on here that will do the job, something long enough. This is a bit thick, but it's the only part of this bucktail that has some long fiber, so I'm just gonna have to use it. These patterns are pretty forgiving all the same with using not so good bucktail just because they, uh, your UV will hold this all down. We, uh, years ago we used to fish in a lake here not far from where I live in Deer Lake that has a really healthy population of uh, landlocked salmon or as we call them here Wananish and anyway we used to fish with uh, it was all spin gear that we were using but we were using Rapalas and Berkeley Gulp and they do really well especially on the three to five pound fish that we were catching so this is one of those patterns that uh, would do very well in that circumstance. And, all right, yeah, that's looking good. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna tie this off. I have some crazy glue down on that, so it won't go anywhere anyway. Oh my, there we go. And we're just gonna prep the body a bit before we get into shaping it. Um, and basically you're going for a very slender body profile like you want something like that and I just check my yeah my two sides and try to make sure that you got pretty good representation of all your colors on both sides I think your side that you're seeing is a little bit better than mine but that's okay and once you get the slender profile you just want to pinch it because you're gonna try to prep this now so I'm going to use a uh, Solarez Thin Heart and just going to start on one side and I'm going to start working this stuff into the fibers so by putting down a good amount to start off with that should get me uh, enough to work with to start. I'm just going to use a bodkin and just kind of spread this stuff out. You want a nice flat surface and you're going to see why shortly but we're going to put a foil body on this and you want a nice surface for that to stick to. Coming in with our UV light and we don't let go of the back end here that we're holding with our non-dominant hand. You just keep holding on to that until I let you know. So while still holding, we're going to flip this over to the other side. And we're going to do the same here. Sorry, I'm trying to position my hand so I'm not getting in the way of what you may see. <laughs> Sometimes that proves to be a bit difficult. And you can just kind of rub that over. We're going to use our bodkin anyway. 
just make sure that soaks in pretty good. You want it to soak in a bit on top. And you want some in the belly area. All right, so we're ready to let go. This is going to be our body shape, folks. So, um, and we we're gonna just fine tune everything but once the water hits this it i mean it looks perfect so the product we're going to be using today for a realistic fish look is the um, candy foils by pro sport fisher so i'm using a medium size and in one pack of these you get you can do 12 flies so it doesn't flies with it they're uh just pre-made foil bodies but they give us a really cool look that I like. I'm gonna get my thread on here. We're gonna need that to secure these in. Oh, yeah. Of course, now that I have the resin on here, it's gonna be difficult. So when I'm taking these off, I need to buy another bodkin for this because too much gunk on this one. You, uh, so you take always take them off next to each other because they are um, meant for one side and the other. So if you take off two random ones, you may end up getting one that uh, matches up with the first one you took off. So I just use my bodkin to get a part of this out, and I usually go for the tail. And so it is it does have an adhesive back on it but it's not enough to keep this where you want it to stay. So, I mean, we're gonna, we just tie in the nose of this. And then we're gonna come around this side and do the same. Again, using uh, one of the bodies that's next to the one you took. finger and just kind of position that around the same place that we did our last one and tie in the nose and you can make sure that it's stuck on pretty good basically you want like that nice profile <laughs> saying that my uh, sticker came off so but that's okay because we're going to adjust for that. So I'll just uh, get this um, tied in here and tied off, I should say. All right, so now we're going to do some bodybuilding. Um, so while holding these in, this should be our first priority is getting these foils uh, adhered to the side of our minnow. So I'm going to start with the top. I'm going to just make sure that we have some of this resin going in around the foil. And one thing to remember with using resin is you, you, you can't put on too much at a time. Uh, basically, if you do you're gonna have resin that doesn't cure underneath it. So we just do it in layers. All right, flip it around. And we're gonna just do the same that we did on the top. Basically, that's going to lock everything in place. All right. 
So we could stop there if we wanted to, but I like to just build uh, build this up a little bit now. And I'm gonna build up the front just to lock our threads in. And you're trying to go for a nice clean profile. And um, it actually really helps to use solar as thick uh, to start off. Um, but I did use thin because I wanted it to bleed through the fibers a lot easier so we could do this quicker. But if you use thick, you can work it in pretty good with a bobbin. And we'll come down and just build the bottom down around there a bit. And you can even move this around with just the nozzle of your solar as bottle. That works fine but just keep in mind when you are um, tying these that you're, you're tying them they need to be able to stand the punishment that they're gonna get the fish that eat these uh, they got teeth and this is their armor so the better you build this up the longer these flies will last Another nice thing about these flies is this uh, UV adds some weight to it and when you're trying to get your fly down, like say you're fishing saltwater for mackerel or you know, you're just fishing any deep water for any species, this is going to help you do that. And we just kind of watch our horizon and see where we want to be. I can use some more up here. So I'm going to actually leave these out in um, in one of my windows uh, of my house and leave them out for a nice sunny day. So now, sorry, uh, before I keep going with that story, but uh, we're just going to put a light layer around here to connect with the rest of the UV we have on this. And this is just going to protect our foil. And we just kind of work that around so it looks uh, smooth. Oh yeah, sorry, I'll, <laughs> I'm going to put these up uh, and hang them off of a uh, drinking glass in my windows upstairs and uh, a nice sunny day is just going to cure these really nice. Uh, basically these lights, if you're not used to working with resin, these lights are just mimicking sunlight which is what cures uh, UV resin. So, so far so good. I'm going to finish this side now. These uh, CS54 hooks by Partridge, um, they're not really meant to tie these patterns on, but uh, I, I love a little bit of a longer shank, shank on these flies. Um, you know, <laughs> If anything, it keeps you from asking yourself out oh, fishing, you know, uh, you know, am I getting uh, short takes and that's why I'm missing fish or yada, 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 you know, it gives you a little bit more reach to grab onto a fish's lips. And now this thing's looking real shiny now. It's looking super good. Just seeing one more spot here where I gotta fill in a little bit of a gap. And we're still just making sure that our, uh, our line looks somewhat uh, smooth, just like a fish would. All right.
right, so this is a Surf Candy Minnow, um, and we're using these uh, Pro Sport Fisher uh, candy foils, uh, which just give it a little bit more of a realistic appearance on the outside. So again, if you're thinking about getting out and trying for some new species, these species are, are fish that eat other fish, tie up a few of these. You're, you're not going to regret it. Thank you guys very much for stopping by. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, if you do find time and you do like the content that I'm uh, putting out there, please hit the subscribe button on my channel. It helps me out and uh, it's uh, very motivating for me to keep putting out videos. So thanks again. Have a great day.